I've got some mulberry and avocado cuttings coming soon and I need to get some stuff ready in order to propagate them. If you've been watching very long, then you know about two weeks ago, I got some cuttings from the Texas boys. They sent those to us and were very generous with it. If you're wanting some mulberry cuttings or some fig cuttings or some blackberry cuttings, they're a great place to get them. I ordered on eBay some mulberry cuttings. I showed you the haul from Deerfield Supplies and I purchased some perlite and I'm gonna get some perlite. The peat moss that I had before is still in the high tunnel. Uh, so I'm gonna get the perlite and take it along with this new tote. It's clear all the way around. I'm gonna go get this perlite and then I'll show you. Let's get over there and get it done. So I would store this in the high tunnel, but it's very moist in the high tunnel. This paper packaging for the perlite wouldn't hold up very well in there because of all the moisture in there. And uh, the kids go in there all the time. They don't really go in this shed very often. And uh, if they go in there, they're liable to mess with it and spread it all over the place. And I really don't want them to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in here. It's not very convenient because it's probably an eighth of a mile all the way over there to the high tunnel from here. But that's okay. Uh, walking is good for you. Uh, just go back and forth and back and forth. But I'm just going to get the perlite light right now, put it in this tote, and then I'll walk it over there. This is more perlite than I used last time because I have more available to me this time. So I'm gonna try to mix it half and half. Let's get over there to the high tunnel. I just moved this propagation chamber up here, and I got a second one of these heating mats that I have. I'll bring you a little closer. There's number two. Here's the first one. So I think I'll have room for one more propagation chamber up here. So if I put one more, do one more up here, I'll be able to start as much stuff as I want to, because there's still more room in this first one. I haven't checked any, about, uh, any for roots. I haven't seen any on the side over here but I'm not gonna bother them over here at all to see if there's any roots or not. It's doing really well. I pretty much every morning come out here and unplug it and open it up. In the evening, I'll cover it up and plug it back up because it's been consistently at least in the 30s every evening and sometimes even in the 20s and stuff. But everything looks fine, everything looks good. All I'm gonna do with this one is just put the peat moss in it. I'll also have to put some liquid in it as well uh, to get it the right moisture and then mix it all good and uh, together. And then all I'll do whenever I open it up is I'll spritz it just to keep it moist. It's a really simple process. I might actually wait until I get the cuttings to finish this because I need to go around to the house and do a couple things. I'm gonna leave it right up here. I'm supposed to get the cuttings maybe tomorrow. I don't know for sure, tomorrow, the next day. Uh, whenever I get those first set of cuttings, I'll come out here and show you again. Very easy. You can increase the number of plants that you have tenfold, twentyfold. I took six cuttings off of my figs and I could have taken many more. My mulberry cuttings have finally arrived, but it's a little warm today, a little windy. Definitely warm in the high tunnel. I'm gonna go ahead and open the sides up a little bit before we start our cuttings. It's really warm in here, so I'm gonna open this door too. I have to add a little bit more water to this. I put almost five gallons in here, but it's uh, not quite enough. This stuff really does absorb the water, but I can go ahead and show you what we're doing over here in this other one. Here are the cuttings. I got these off of eBay. Uh, I got two different varieties of mulberries. One is Shangri-La, and I assume that's the one that has this S on here. And the other is Pakistan. 10 cuttings of both. Never ordered from this person before. We'll put the Pakistani in this with the figs and the elderberry. And look how they package it. They've got it all uh, wrapped in uh, plastic. This came priority mail. It just came today. Uh, it took a little longer than I expected, but that's okay. They've got the bottom wrapped in a towel and the whole thing in plastic. So let's open her up. So here they are. It looks like 13. We'll count when we get finished. Here's the top. It's cut flat. And here's the bottom, it's a diagonal cut. I'm just gonna go ahead and wound all of these and stick them all in the rooting hormone. And then I'm gonna stick them all in here. So wounding them, all I'm just gonna do is just give it a little scratch on the side. And that's probably where some of the roots are gonna end up coming out. Mm -hmm. 
And I've got my rooting hormone right here. I got this at Menards. And I'm just gonna dip it in here and shake off the excess. And I'm just gonna set it to the side. Just dip it in here, shake off the excess, put it to the side. One more time, dip it in here, shake off the excess. And it's just got a little light coat on there. Stick it to the side. I counted 12 that time. And then all I'm gonna do is just stick them in here. You'll be able to see a bit as I do that. Okay, so that's all you do. Uh, I know I've done this before. It's a really simple thing, and uh, you know, you're gonna fail some. You're not gonna get 100% success. There's some of the elderberries that are uh, starting to put out some leaves, and uh, so are the figs. There's a couple of these figs. These are the Celeste, and I think the others that are over here are Almas, and they don't have any leaves on them yet. And these over here are from my food forest. They're brown turkey figs. The only thing I'm doing is uh, I'm opening up every day so it don't get too hot in there. I'm putting it on the heating mat at night in the high tunnel so it stays warm. It hasn't gotten below freezing in here, but it does get kind of cool about 30, 40 degrees at night. I gotta put some water in this over here that I started a minute ago, get it a little bit moister. And then I'm gonna put these Shangri-La mulberries in there. And I've got a few more cuttings that a friend is sending me from California. I'm gonna test out and see how these avocados do. I'm gonna do them the exact same way, so I'm not gonna do a video for that. If you like things like this, I hope that you'll keep on coming to our channel. We do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and a live stream on Sunday night. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, and make sure to keep on coming back. Hit that notification bell, select all, so you never miss a notification. And we really appreciate you, and appreciate you being a part of our journey.